And this breaking news is about, is about an exclusive input on the Khalistan violence in Surrey, Canada. The Surrey police has said that they were aware of the planned protest and had police officers on the site. The officers were there to ensure the safety of everybody involved. And during the protest, one person was assaulted and sustained injuries. Police officers had entered the crowd where the assault was occurring, extracted the victim and escorted him to a safe place. At this time, no arrests have been made. The assault is being investigated by the General Investigation Unit. Now, we are crossing over to CNN News 18's foreign affairs correspondent, uh, Abhishek Jha, to get us more details on this. Abhishek, let's first take a look. Now, there have been two breaking inputs. The first one is that the Indian High Commissioner, uh, Vikram Dorai Swamy, has made a statement seeking to clarify, seeking to push away misinformation on the situation in Punjab. Tell us more. So, Aisha, uh, what happened <coughs> in London has uh, to do a lot also with the kind of misinformation that was spread across uh, major uh, countries where Indian diaspora are in good numbers. Uh, that is happening in Punjab, the, the raids and the search warrant that was against Amrit Pal Singh. Uh, a, a secessionist uh, sort of, uh, there, there are multiple uh, criminal charges against him and in that uh, context, people, uh, police was uh, searching for him. Uh, but uh, somehow it was portrayed across the world that there have been uh, some sort of atrocities against the communities. And uh, this is what uh, Dore Swami, India's High Commissioner in London, has tried to clarify that there is no such thing. Uh, and police are, uh, after a life of uh, uh, trying to chase down one uh, fugitive criminal, and there is uh, everything is normal, uh, internet services and every uh, phone services are very much normal in, in, in Punjab. Only four districts uh, where the situation was a little worrisome. Uh, there are some restrictions on internet activities other than every day-to-day uh, -day normal life is very much normal. So this, this clarification was much, was much needed uh, because of the kind of information that was already uh, very much in, in the market. Uh, the, the second question has been on the, uh, the Canadian uh, side, Surrey, British Columbia, where this Indian High Commissioner's uh, event had to be cancelled because of the uh, large number of protesters uh, present there and the kind of ruckus they created which uh, posed a threat, a danger uh, to this life. Uh, but the only uh, concerning part here is that police have said that they did uh, extract one of the Indian who was uh, being beaten and thrashed by the protesters uh, and he sustained minor injuries as well. Uh, but so far it has been almost two days and there has not been any report of any detention or arrest. Uh, However, police was very much on the ground. They had information. Uh, there was a deployment. It's still, the protesters, uh, uh, you know, behavior or their unruly uh, attempt to to disrupt this whole uh, event uh, is something that is very concerning. And police did not take any action. Uh, and so far, there has not been any any arrest made. And they, uh, it, it, the it's, it's a total silence from Canadian authorities on the issue uh, that why law is not taking its own course. Uh, so clearly, India, uh, India, Indian government will have to raise the matter in a more serious way, uh, so that at least there are some uh, tangible, uh, you know, action taken by the authorities in in the case of uh, protesters uh, at, who have tried to disrupt those Indian events. All right, Abhishek, thank you so much for joining us and for giving us those crucial details. We are going to continue to track the developments in this story, uh, but we're going to be telling you about another aspect where yesterday the Indian diaspora came out in huge numbers outside of the Indian High Commission in London to show their support. Here is CNN News 18's Sanjay Suri for more. People with flags dancing to the Bhangra, absolutely asserting their spirit, asserting their faith determined to layer over any memories of assault and of violence and of vandalism with a joy and an affirmation in India. A lot of people have turned up here spontaneously. This is the middle of a working day. It doesn't look like that. This looks like a carnival and not time for work in an office somewhere. But people have been brought here by their enthusiasm. They have come here to their determination to send a message out to themselves, to people back in India, to people who have been responsible for the violence, that this is what India is about. And now you see the police, the police joining in. This is a value that not just about everybody who believes in democracy and in a peaceful society would share, and the police very much now a part of the Bhangra, part of the celebrations. This is a message that goes out. This is a message that people are sending out to 
the world and really it's a message going out to the world. There have been instances like this just about everywhere and this is a message that will go home to everybody who is looking to create trouble. There are a few people who get attention out of proportion to their numbers, wildly out of proportion to their numbers for all the wrong reasons. This now is the real answer to those people. बहुत ही शर्मनाक है निंदनीय है और जो इंडियन हाई कमीशन में हुआ लंदन में वो तो सरासर मैं मानती हूँ यूके गवर्नमेंट और यूके सिक्योरिटी सर्विसेज का ये जिम्मेदारी बनती है कि जब एक सेंसिटिव माहौल देश में बना हुआ है तो वो हमारी विदेशी धरती पे जो हमारी ऑफिस हैं उसका ध्यान रखें और बहुत ही आ, मैं मानती हूँ जो सेंसिटिव समय चल रहा है पंजाब के लिए उस समय पे राजनीति से ऊपर उठकर देश को आगे रखकर और इस तरीके की विकृत मानसिकता जो देश के खिलाफ काम करती हो बंटवारे की बात करती हो विभाजनकारी सोच रखती हो उसको जल्द से जल्द काबू में लाना चाहिए हम लोग की यह अपेक्षा है देखिए एक तो बात यह है कि ये जो सारा सिलसिला है अमृतपाल का ये सब आई का के द्वारा प्रायोजित है ये पाकिस्तान की खुफिया एजेंसी है आईएसआई वही इस इस योजना को आज से नहीं कुछ दशकों से चला रहा है और इसके जो नेता सब हैं ये पाकिस्तान में ही रहते हैं जहां तक हमारे मित्र देश में जो घटनाएं घटी यूके में और यूएसए में वो जो दूतावास पर लोग खालिस्तानी समर्थक आ गए तो हम लोग की अपेक्षा यही है मित्र देशों से कि हम लोग के जो दूतावास हैं वो उसकी सुरक्षा रहे और जो इस प्रकार के आतंकी संगठन वगैरह हैं उनको वहाँ पर शरण नहीं मिले ये बहुत दुख की बात है बिल्कुल अपने देश के लिए ये मर मिटने वाली जमात जो है वो ऐसा काम करें जिसे सिर्फ धर्म का ख्याल नहीं रखते अपने देश का ख्याल नहीं रखते इसको मैं पूरे जोर से कंडेम करता हूं इसको तो मैं बहुत ही कड़ा शब्द में कंडेम करना चाहता हूं ये एक्सेप्टेबल ही नहीं है कि उस भारत के जो हाई कमिश्नर्स हैं या एम्बेसडर्स के जो ऑफिस हैं जहां पे जैसे जिस तरह से ये किया गया है ये भारत के डेमोक्रेसी के ऊपर भारत का जितने 1.40 1.4 बिलियन लोगों के ऊपर एक हमला जैसा है तो मुझे तो लगता है कि इसको बहुत कड़ी तरह से केवल निंदा नहीं इसको उनको पकड़ के कड़ी से कड़ी सजा दिया जाए कुछ लोग हैं जिनको एजेंसियां इस्तेमाल करती हैं और जो मतलब हमारे देश के खिलाफ दुष्प्रभाव करके अपना जो बेनिफिट जो है उनको सुनिश्चित करते हैं वो लोग तो मैं उन सभी सिख भाइयों से मैं निवेदन करना चाहूँगा कि आप लोग पंजाब बाहर रहते हैं विदेशों के अंदर यहाँ आके हिंदुस्तान के अंदर आपने खालिस्तान अगर बनाना है तो यहाँ के मैदान में आके लड़ो पीठ पीछे या चोरी छुपे लड़ने से कोई फ़ायदा नहीं है 